Welcome to wisnotes.com mathematics video tutorials. Question 10a. It reads In the diagram shown, not drawn to scale, PR is a tangent, is a tangent to the circle at Q. And there's our tangent at Q. C is the center of the circle. C is the center of the circle. Diameter SU is produced to meet the tangent at P. So SU is produced, means lengthen, to meet this tangent at the point P. Alright, given that angle SQR equals 57 degrees, that's angle SQR, that's this angle here, equals 57 degrees, calculate given reasons, the size of angle STU, that's STU, angle SUQ, SUQ, that's this one, angle QSU, QSU, that's this angle, and then angle UPQ, UPQ, that's this angle here. Okay, so first we're going to look at angle STU. So let's bring a copy of the diagram in. Alright, so that's our diagram. And we want to find angle STU. So that's the angle here. Now this angle here is being subtended by this diameter. Alright, so this diameter is subtending the angle here. Angle in a circle subtended by a diameter. Angle at the circumference of a circle subtended by a diameter is a right angle. So this angle is a right angle. Alright, so we can put a statement in for that rule. It says the angle at the circumference T subtended by the diameter SU of the circle is 90 degrees. It's also said that angle in a semicircle, if we look at this as a semicircle, then the angle in the semicircle is 90 degrees. So you can look at it as a semicircle or the angle subtended by a diameter is 90 degrees. So in either case, this angle here is 90 degrees. So we can move that angle in. So that angle is 90 degrees right there. Now if we notice this angle here, this angle here is also subtended by this diameter SU. Alright, so it is by the same reasoning, this angle here is going to be um, 90 degrees. Alright, so we have we have angle STU equals 90 degrees that's this one and we are saying for for the same reason that it is subtended by a diameter this angle angle SQU is also going to be 90 degrees but it is also subtended by a diameter SU Alright, so we can go ahead and also put that angle in here. So that angle is 90 degrees. Alright, so now we can look to do part 2. That says we have to find the angle SUQ. SUQ, that's this angle here. Now if we observe, this angle is being subtended by this chord. So this chord is subtending this angle here. And this chord is making an angle of 57 degrees with the tangent. Now there's a rule that says that the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord. Once a chord is drawn from the point of tangency, the angle between a tangent and a chord drawn from the point of tangency is equal to the angle subtended now by the chord in the alternate segment of the circle. So this is the segment 
where the angle is located the alternate segment will be over on this side so any angle subtended by this chord in this segment of the circle is going to be equal to the angle between the tangent and the chord so therefore this angle here is equal to 57 degrees alright so let's put that statement in let's put that statement in here so we can read it says the angle between a tangent and that's RQ and a chord that's QS that's that's equal to 57 in this case the chord now drawn from the point of tangency Q the chord is drawn from the point of tangency Q is equal to the angle subtended by the chord same chord QS at the circumference U at the circumference U in the alternate segment of the circle and therefore angle SUQ is equal to angle SRQ that is this angle here is equal to this angle here right so that angle is 57 degrees so we can go ahead and put 57 degrees in for that angle all right so that is the second part now we want to find angle QSU angle QSU QSU so that's this angle here now right back on this diagram QSU is this angle here now if you observe now we have a triangle here and total angles in a triangle is 180 degrees right so we can use that theory uh, that fact to calculate this angle here so let's again put the statement in to show that information right what we're saying is that in triangle SQU SQU that's this triangle here the total angles in there must add up to 180 degrees so it's SU Q that's this one plus SQU SQU that's this one plus angle QSU QSU that's this one that's trying to find must be equal to 180 degrees and if you put the values in you're gonna have you're gonna have 57 degrees from here plus 90 degrees from here plus this angle will be equal to 180 degrees so if you transpose and make angle QSU the subject of this equation here now you're gonna have angle QSU equal 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 57 degrees because we'll subtract 90 and 57 degrees from both sides of the equation and we are left with angle S angle QSU on this side and this now reduces to 30, 33 degrees therefore this angle is 33 degrees so we can show that in the diagram that angle now is 37 degrees All right and now we're on to part 4 that says we have to find angle UPQ UPQ that's this angle alright now to find this angle what we're gonna do we're gonna focus on this triangle alright because angle UPQ is the same angle as angle SPQ is the same angle alright so let's focus on this big triangle SPQ alright and we'll identify what we're gonna use let's highlight that triangle alright let's highlight that triangle alright so highlighting this triangle what we observe is that inside this big triangle now right we have this angle here and we have an external angle of 57 degrees here and we want to find this angle now there's a rule that says that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angle so what we're saying is that this angle plus this angle is equal to this exterior angle 
or you can put it the other way around you're saying this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles these are the two opposite interior angles so this 57 degrees is equal to this 33 degrees plus this angle here so we can go ahead and put a statement in to represent that information and the solution right what you end up with is that the rule is the external angle angle sqr sqr of a triangle that is of triangle spq is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles that is angle qsp qsp that's this one plus angle spq angle spq that's this one right that we're trying to find so if we write that as a statement that is this angle angle qsp plus angle spq is equal to the external angle angle sqr that's this angle here right so we put in the values now this angle that we know is 33 degrees this angle is the one we're trying to find we don't know that one and the external angle is 57 degrees and if we transpose we subtract 50, 33 degrees from both sides of this equation we end up with angle spq being equal to 24 degrees but we said before that angle spq is also angle upq which is the angle that we were used we were asked to find so we can write that here so we say and so angle upq which is equal to angle spq the same angle is equal to 24 degrees and that is our solution so now we can go ahead and remove the highlight of that triangle that we had under consideration and what we're going to do is put the 24 degrees in here all right so that's our total solution for that question Thanks again for visiting wisnotes.com and you can come back again for more solutions in mathematics. Okay, bye.